Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of heroes. Where's my piglet? I was going to go for that. Demon Hunter's been taken. That would have been a good choice as well, because Demon Hunter's always overpowered. This is your hero. Ah, oh, you picked Riflemen as well? <laughs> the rifles. The auto attack ranged agility heroes. So this is like a, yeah, a 2v2 two for all creep fest and get overpowered and then fight each other, I assume. Seems like it could be okay. So what abilities we got? Summon a gunner. Summons are typically good. So you spawn the units and then you kill them. Agility is 80 gold. I think he's just gone with the plus stats to start off with, not even the ability. Circle of power. Yeah, I'm not going to share with him because he's going to start moving my shit around. Selected none, so you can... Is he spawning these? You can reach them. Yeah, I think he is. He has to come far back enough for it. So if you come back here, you can reach, can you? Maybe not. But that must be how they're spawning. Smoke bomb for the debuff. I'm not using enough mana. <laughs> the little gunner. I think they auto spawn then. So, I assume each team is basically doing what we're doing right now, in different little arenas. So he's got crit, that looked like. 99% chance to do a double damage shot and also 2%... Okay. 99% chance to do two times damage? Okay. I wonder why that guy picked that hero. The map is called Golden Team Tournament. What items have we got? Mask of Death, maybe. I attack quite quickly. Well, fairly quickly. It's average, really. Don't really want to be spawning stuff at the moment. You want to kill as much as you can by the looks of it. So anything that increases our attack speed. I'm going to get the Endurance. Because it works for him as well. Increasing his 99% chances to proc. I don't think the gunner is... Uh, the gunner's okay. He only gets, like, what, an extra 40 health? So I can't imagine that being worth it. I think Acid Bomb is better. Especially since the gunner gets focused all the time. It's pretty much a free kill. It's one of the weakest summons I've ever seen. 180 health. Certainly ain't a water elemental. Pretty, I think just get all the auras. Really. Pull me for aura. Pull 
Can he not afford one? Could be a scumbag and just get mass agility. He wants on holy aura. Bring him closer. Kill the one at the back and then acid bomb here. It's tougher looking creatures. Yeah, pull them back in. We should really be pulling them all the way over so we can just stand by the fountain. But yeah, there we go. Unholy. He's not actually Captain Ping, but it reminds me. Sweet. I'm sure this team is the is the A team. Can you troll this dude? His backseat gaming is kind of rude. Because he's played the map before. I don't think he's deliberately being rude. It's just how he's coming across. Although, obviously, it is rude. It's just he has a set way on how the map should be played. And if you diverge from that, he sees it as wrong. I'm not even sure, Gunner. Maybe just attribute bonus. Although... I think you should at least put some love into it. I think he probably does get increased stats. I don't know for sure. I could have tested it. Can't just be health that goes up. <laughs> yes, Daddy. It does deal damage. Good. I thought it should be like an upgrade. You can have more than one out at the same time, so like Quill Beast or something. Yes, but it's kind of unfair for him to assume that you are just going to adopt a lifeless role. He basically asked to share, so he could presumably take control of your hero. Pretty much. And make it right-click what he's right-clicking. I'll shoot him in the back. Lol. He accidentally bought times. It could happen to anyone. That was unfortunate. Poor guy. I'm going to give him 69 gold. No, I'm going to give him 80 gold now. We're killing them quicker than they can spawn almost. I've got the beast 
Five minutes left. So how's the goal going up? Because we don't really get last hits on this. 202. 216. So it's about 15 gold for the white ones and about 20-ish gold for the blue one. Damn. I wanted to get my acid bomb before he got his attack off. He wants the flute. He's got the war song dwums. It's the hilarious flute. Overclock dying! How did he die? <laughs> did I figure out what to do in this map? Yeah, pretty much instantly the moment it loaded. What the hell is this? May as well use it. Well, now he's moved out of it. I see. Seems strong. If you have a stun to back it up. Three minutes, boys. Three minutes. Are you excited? It's not a bad blizzard. It's a lot of mana, though. It's very instantaneous damage. It's 120 damage, basically, I assume, every second for 10 seconds. So it's technically like 1,200 damage. If that works quite how I think it does. By just watching the rifleman, the other ranged units get inspired and deal more damage. So he has like an aura himself. I'm not sure that's stacking with what we've got, though. Better keep pulling. Keep the pull. Don't attack yet. Oh, there we go. I managed to get it off just before he got his attack off. That way they all get affected by a thing of a jig. In fact, my ultimate's almost ready again. It'd actually make more sense just to keep sitting here and getting mana back. And use my ultimate. If the cooldown is pretty short. Didn't use anything else. Maybe the ult doesn't damage your ally or you? I don't know. I don't know, man. But what I do know is, is it does a lot of damage. I'm going to wait until we've killed this and then stand there and do it. I don't feel like it's worth trying to do it now. Need to be able to tank this, though. Ideally. Look at me, I'm tanking. Bloody blue ogre. Has to be difficult, doesn't he? But yeah, the cooldown on that is ridiculously short. I should just really keep abusing that. I know we haven't got long to do it, but just come back, get 250 mana, and then use that again over and over. By the time it's come back. Almost. It's not quite there yet, though. It's not worth using on this run. We use it on the next bunch of ogres if we're quick enough. Quick, 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 get the mana. Here we go. It does damage to me, because my health is dropping really quick there. 
buy items. Well, we've like six seconds left. He said health, so there you go. There's three health items there. I just bought the that one. We got like 2,000 gold within 10 seconds and had to spend it. Little duel in arena. Oh, they got a similar ability. Good game. Nice model there for the Felgar. And then there's the World of Warcraft uh, mech bot thing, which is awesome. <laughs> this guy's got a freaking healing ward stuck in his head. You know take healing ward. What the hell is he doing? How fast does that guy attack? That's really overpowered. I think he does literally attack about three times faster than a demon hunter. At his base attack speed. Speaking of Demon Hunter. Teamwork. And the 2,300 health versus 900 health. The plays. The plays. The metal armor is pulling through. Oh god, we've got to go against that overpowered Felguard now. The hell? Oh, it's like a f two... F three lots of two for all. So he just says hide in the corner and let them fight. <laughs> They're level 10 and 11 because that Felguard is overpowered as all hell. Anything that has that sort of base attack speed is way too strong, as you can see. That is obviously overpowered as all hell. That is so obviously overpowered. I spotted that the moment I, I, I saw that so early. I know how a lot of these games work. And the base mechanics and how base attack speed is super important. It's the reason why Demon Hunter is ridiculously strong for the majority of um, averagely made uh, hero defense maps. Because he actually has the fastest base attack speed of all the heroes. And a lot of the map makers don't actually nerf that down. So you could pick someone like the Demon Hunter or you could pick the Priestess of the Moon. And the Priest of the Moon is going to do a really shitty job because she attacks super slow. What does this guy say? Feed me now or we... <laughs> His ability is really strong if it does get fed, but I don't really want to play the whole sort of 
do everything this guy says thing, because that just makes me not want to do it. Also, is that cooldown already available? Because that's ridiculous. Wait for this one to fuck around. Oh no, he's sitting there. That ultimate could be our chance of basically coming back into this and creeping faster. If I just, like, pull back to fountain. Three fifty mana now. Aye, time to go. Aye. Definitely strong. Oh my god, he doesn't get it, does he? Ultimate's almost ready again. I'll take care of it. Time to go. That is ridiculous, that ultimate. What do you need? I'll take I need like more mana regeneration. I'm thinking of going for Cagus. Let me stand here and do this when I got my ultimate. And then I'm just going to run back. You can finish them off. I'll go get my uh, mana back in time for the next one. Rinse and repeat. I need, I need more mana. I'm actually going to get intelligence times, shockingly enough. That seems a mistake, though. It'd be better to get an item that has intelligence, but... These are just flat mana. It's not like, um, Sobe Mask regeneration. That's plus 75 to all stats. So I got 1,000 gold, but... <laughs> like every five seconds, he's asking for more. I give him a few hundred gold because there is actually a good reason to feed him. I don't want to give him like everything though. I don't want to be a scumbag that just cheats. That's like worse than Legion TD. Where you sort of have two people build in the same area. That's like really scummy. Otherwise, survival, really. Oh, look at that. 150 gold for plus one when used. What does it say fake for? I don't get what it says fake for. That could be okay for me. Hmm, weird. Oh, come on, boy. Take care of it. What do you need? 
Oh wow, that's old school. Did that relearn my abilities? That was weird. I'm not even going to gunner anymore. That's 200 gold for plus one to everything. Or 80 gold to level up one in particular. Oh my god, this guy. Is he like five years old or something? He likes gold more than I do, and that's saying something. You have a target. He hasn't. He's look. He's just a pure auto attack hero as well. He hasn't picked anything that has abilities. I bet there are no abilities on this character. Unfortunately, they're not all playing ball. That was an awkward ultimate, that one. But I felt like I may as well just bloody get it going. Because I got enough mana now. Come on, boys, come back. Share your hero so you can play by himself. We've got seven minutes left. I'm going to get the all tones. Bit of everything. I'm thinking about tie-up so I can use my ultimate a little bit more easily. Is that a melee range though on tie-up? Well, that's why I think he might be a bit young. If he's uh, in the manner that which he's asking for money and stuff like that, it might just be sort of like an immaturity, a spoiled sort of brat kind of mentality. At least he's got more of the idea now. Pull him back in so they can suffer. Come on, I need that guy to run back in, then I can use my ult. And move out red. Just a little bit. I actually got last hit there, 50 gold. Are they, are they giving 50, have they been given last hits now? We should spawn more units, shouldn't we? Like, can I spawn this as well? Like, why do you want to do, he chose that one, but why do you want to do something that's going to be immune to my ultimate? You want something where there's a lot of them. I'm your shooter. The trolls spawns. No, nah, it's just one each. <laughs> oh my god. It's like I'm playing with a robot. Gold, please. Those were fairly easy to kill. They'd be good, actually. 
Oh, fuck me. <laughs> My patience is so fucking limited right now with this guy. I'll tell you what. I'll give him 696 guard. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way giving this guy all of that gold is going to sh shut him up. As soon as he gets that amount of gold, he's going to be like, right, I need 2,500 gold now for the next one. Shit to kill! You have enabled him. I've been enabling him since the moment I joined the game. Just the fact that he had anyone next to him to play with him was enabling him. I'm going to hurt myself a bit here, but... Or am I? I don't know what was going on there. I'll just let you get the last hits. So you should be getting the goal for that. There you go. You get the last hits on those as well. The ensnare would work well with his... um. You know, his damage that he does. I know why. He just wants to be like that super overpowered. I get it. I get what he's doing. Because if you get this hero like fast enough agility to the point where he's attacking like almost non-stop, he does double damage. So he's just going to keep attacking over and over really, really quickly, really hard, really fast. We want to encourage it a little bit. At least not so much what his behavior is, but what his hero can do. But I don't want to flat out cheat like that filthy fell guard. Not that the person knew that that field guard had that crazy attack speed. He's definitely bought the item now. There's no way he needs any more gold. There you go. He's got his item. That's like a 5,000... What is that? It's a 5,000 gold item? No one. It's not cheap. 75 damage, 5 defense, and also ability to shoot chain lightning. Which I don't think I've seen him use yet. I'll take the item. We just need to live, really. So, I've already got these auras, unfortunately. So, I don't have any of anything. It's just, like I say, all stats for faster agility for my main ability. Intelligence, so I can keep doing this during the speed rounds. But really, I'm almost thinking just strength or manual of health. It's 50 health for 80 gold. Ain't too bad. Just live. If I can... That's why he wanted a tank as well, isn't it? Like, I get it. I'm not, like, completely playing in his style, but I know what needs to be done at the same time. Just need to basically survive in the PvP so he can get enough shots off and just cheesily kill them. Look, he's doing, like, four or five hits now. It's going to take a while. He needs, like, a Gloves of Haste or something. Oh, my fucking God. No, that's it. You've had it. Nope. <laughs> gold, please. I didn't spend my 2k. Yeah, I saw my gold go up quickly there, but oh well. I think we'll be okay. It all comes down to what that fell guard does, really. He needs his fix. You got any of that gold? I got gold. I've done okay. I've been getting a lot of last hits and stuff like that, so it's not been a miserable experience. What's with the healing wards on people's heads?
That's the item, you think? Uh. Oh god. Let's go, boys. We want to get in like a corner spot. He wants Panda. I'll I'll ensnare the fell guard, and then I'll use my ultimate there. That fell that ensnare lasts a long time. I can't really ensnare that guy quick enough because it's melee range. Hang on a second, aren't you ensnared? He's got an ability that just teleports him to wherever he's targeting. Oh my god! Could that thing be any more overpowered? Alright, should we pull this guy? Just so we can kill the fell guard? I'm starting to wonder if we should now. Not for this guy's sake, but just so we can actually kill the fell guard. Because it's possible. If I can ensnare him at the start, and then we pick off the panda, and then just right-click that guy as hard as possible. We need, like, stuns or something. No, don't. Don't give in to the anti goo He's not going to kill the fell guard, even if you pull him. You've already been pulling him from the start. What did that achieve? But he's going to he's gonna ask me. He's like my child. He's going to look at me with his big puppy dog eyes. And he's going to say... Pull. And I'm going to be looking down at him. And I'm going to be like, I already gave you some sweets. If you give you too many, your teeth are going to hurt. And then you're going to be complaining when you go to bed. <laughs> so he's worse than a heroin, heroin addict. He will be worse next game if you enable him. Yeah, true. <laughs> For the sake of future people that are on his team. Give him gold for Roblox skins. Would you like to buy a Roblox? That Felguard seems so legit. That's basically the map maker's wet dream, isn't it, that Felguard? He knew what he was doing when he put that Felguard in there. Okay. I want something like, what's the strongest? Can we not select none? Lol. I'll just kill them all. Yeah, these are level 10 and 9, and they die just pretty much as easy. So I think those are the best ones to spawn. Oh my god. Need to... If we level up tie up, and hope that it... I know it didn't work on the fell guy, but that's because I think he used his ability after I used it. So if he's already used his ability to teleport to someone, if that is an ability, not just an automatic. If that's an ability, then he could be tied up for a long time. That's all... Wait, wait, plus 10. For 16.50. Is that like plus 10 of everything? Because that's pretty good. That's really good value. That's like 65 gold each. So. Wait. 46, 43, 43. Yeah, that is. That's pretty good value, that one. What? He thinks this is more gold, is he? How much gold are we getting for this? Oh, 
That's his ultimate, apparently. Or whatever the hell that was. Shall I pull him gold now? <laughs> I don't think it's possible for me to get a last hit anymore. Oh my god, such an ungrateful brat! I'm not sure if this is actually the Shosh. He's normally polite in one versus one, but who else is going to make that name though, to be fair? Sixty-nine gold each. Time to go. I'm gonna see what the big ones do. He just said Nick. Nick. You have a target? Aye. I need to get like the last hit though. Shoot the kill. Fire. What do you need? I've got the beast in my side. I know the items are really good as well. Probably better than spamming the tomes, but at this rate, whatever. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to 5,000 gold now that the guy is basically one-shotting everything. I'll just uh, keep toming myself up to keep myself alive. Dismissed, unfortunately. More gold. Oh. Oh. The idea of this map, though, is cool. Like I said, there should be more maps like this where you're sort of you're fighting against creatures and you can up the ante. But this is a this is a bit basic. In comparison to what I had in mind. I'll take care of it. Okay. But the principle was there. Right. Okay. I'll take care of it. And it's obviously just going to be whoever gets the most overpowered hero really is what this comes down to. Like if you compare my hero to that hero, like it's just ridiculous. And this hero is not even bad. It's just, there's just huge power spikes in some of these heroes. That don't allow for fair gameplay whatsoever. I'll pull him back. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Level four in snare is our only hope first is Mr. Felgard. He should try to try to get some health items as well though. So that he can actually survive, because he's not going to do any damage if he's dead. If I was to buy an item, it would probably be that one, I guess. What do you need? The shield, just anything that's survival. Felt like he must have bought a new item there or something. Because he really felt like he was doing some good damage at that point. It's 957. I'll just stand still. I beat Grubby, right? Yeah, I've beaten him in one game. Undead Mirror. But he's beaten me a lot better. Uh, a lot more. And he's a much better player. <laughs>
Twitch is spazzing. I s I'm not dropping any frames. Well, give the guy credit. At least it took him a while to ask again. I want to try to get the Hellfighter. Part of me does want to see just how ridiculous that hero gets there. We were almost there anyway. Like if he could effectively one shot them each. It's a request stream now, sexy time. I sold out. You have to request in order to see melee. Now ask him for Paul. I've already did that earlier. He's not going to do it. What does the circle up top do? I was, I've was i been wondering that for a while. I don't know if that's some sort of administration type thing. Where it's like kick a player or something like that. I can't imagine it does anything. If I step on it. Okay, it does. Maybe his special shop. But other players can reach it. So you basically can access items that you can't normally get in your own area? They're very small items, though. Increase the intelligence strength of the hero. For the creep? Oh, look. Oh, you can't fight each other. I thought you would. I thought that would be the catch. If you want to get, like, the good items or something. Everyone's just suddenly chilling out here. Where'd you guys all come from? The ring is overpowered. I was going to go for armor. That says it gives 75 plus all stats. Which is insane if that's true. Oh, raises all attributes by 35. Can I help you? And that's 75. What you we should try to get that guy. I don't, I don't I agree with feeding the guy like, but he's going to be this. He's going to be who he is no matter what happens, isn't he? So we should try to get him that. How much gold you got? We should try to get him the 15,000 gold item if it's possible. He's not answering me, though. I'll take care of it. He doesn't want to me go. to know. I'll take care of it. Fire. I'm your shooter. Shoot the cow. Fire. What do you need? Okay. I'll take care of it. Time to go. Probably just spent it, didn't I? He got the mask of death. I don't know if that item is good enough, though. I mean, technically, but he needs a lot more health for that item to really pay off. You have 2,000, dear. He's still going to get wrecked by the fail guard. This guy, this is what it all comes down to. He is our hero. He is the hero of the map. All in, boys. All in! All or nothing! <laughs> oh, it goes out to level 5, does it? I'm so useless now when he's not attacking. He's got a splash, has he? 
What the fuck? He's got a splash. I think he was just buying times with that, wasn't he? Yeah, he's just bought times. We won't make it now. I disagree with this decision, but I acknowledge the motivation. That's it. It's, it's the right thing to do. It's faster. Yeah, but we got two minutes. It doesn't matter if it's faster to kill these. You're not going to make that much money in time. So you pretty much will just have to whack down times. Do a charge back. <laughs> I want to see a 1337 from this guy. He just needs like one more time of agility, maybe two. That cooldown on that ult is ridiculous. But it doesn't really do much at this I'll stage. Especially when you cast it on nothing. Sometimes it takes longer for them to spawn than I feel like it's going to take. What does he say? Can you take aura? This is it, boys. Like, go spend your gold. Go. Like, it gives you, like, 1,700 gold. Go spend it. Go. That's all of it. This is it, boys. This is what we've all been waiting for. Place your bets, please. So I, as much as I want to ensnare the fell guard right at the start, I think I have to wait. Last time I did ensnaring him, he still kept moving. My ultimate's not going to do too much, I think, versus these players. Look how much health. 7,800 on that guy. That's what the ensnare is for, to defend you. What if you stand... But he's going to probably stand in the openish area, not the area that I'm thinking of. Where one hero should only be able to access. He's going to stand in the bottom bits where you can get two heroes easy. Let's say here. And then I stand like here.
He does. I don't even think that's an ability where he teleports to attack. I think he just does it as a default. So I think I just may as well ensnare him as soon as I can. Ensnare. Ensnare. Kappa Kappa. That was really difficult to use my snare ability there. He was like, uh -uh. don't want to do it. Uh -uh. I knew it. Here. I mean, to be fair, I don't think I can block there anyway. If I stood there, it's kind of a block. They'd still have to come around like that. I've got Acid Bomb on the Felgar. Ensnare. Ensnare. Yes, Red's doing it! He's doing it! Red! The champion! The hero we all deserve! Save me, my champion! Protect me! <laughs> I'm a complete enabler. This guy's gonna come out of this game being even more of a dick. Even the demon hunter is struggling here. So that says something. And the fell guard got taken now. And look. <laughs> He's so happy with himself. He's learnt nothing. <laughs> so strong. Where's that demon? Where's Illidan? He has got 100 armor, yeah. That agility seems to have paid off. Agility hasn't been nerfed in this. He has 85% damage reduction, so the Fell Guard wasn't able to really burst through him. Even though the Fell Guard have really quick, fast attacks, it looked like he didn't have the damage. This guy, whoever's the Demon Hunter, is just making this torturous for Red right now. Because Red is like, I just want to win. Just let me get the win, and then I know I'm good. So you're just dragging this out for as long as possible first as him. He's got to be frustrating as all hell for this guy. Kill him, Red. Let's go. There is something. Oh, I just caught a glimpse. <laughs> oh god. The shop doesn't spawn either. Well, it spawned, but it's over now. <laughs> he 
You guys are bullying Red. Oh, yeah, this is unfair. Our team's got six points. And we're going to have seven points after this. All thanks to Red. Oh, my God. He gets misses as well. He can't do much about that. Wonder what evasion Illidan has. He probably has like 50% in this. He just needs to... Is it 50%? Yeah, I'd imagine it goes up to 50%. I wouldn't be surprised. Invite Red to all games from now on. Absolutely. So does Windwalk cost nothing? What did he just drop? You have a target? He lost the item, didn't he? Didn't he have an item here? Ah, I see now. Red. Well done. Yeah, we win. We went from six wins to 17 because math. <laughs>